Hi guys, it's Alana from 630. Today we are going on a ride in Venice with one of our 630 paddlers, Sully. in our 630 Peddlers Facebook group, um, seeing if there was anyone in the LA area that would be down to go on a ride with us. And luckily we found Sully. She responded to our post. Um, so now here we are in Venice. Hi guys, hello. Welcome to beautifully spray painted Venice. There's a new picture every day on these places. So, um, but yeah, uh, I just wanted to talk about the bike I decided to buy. More or less sight unseen. I hadn't even ridden it, but I couldn't have been uh, happier with the choice I made, which was practically virtual. Uh, so this is the 630 Every Journey 21 Speed Aluminum. Uh, and it's more or less a step through, which is wonderful for me and I'm starting to accessorize it. I'm trying to keep it nice and basic and not too modern. Uh, so I found the wonderful 630 lovely uh, vintage looking chrome bell. And then I hunted on Amazon and found a couple actually of these vintage looking chrome round mirrors. And this actually has worked perfectly for anyone looking to try and test mirrors. Just trust me, this is the one. Uh, it's stable, you can see behind you perfectly, so I knew that you hadn't ditched me because I was riding in front of you. <laughs> um, and then it's got a wonderful wide saddle. Um, I was also discussing the fact that it has a really nice solid feel to it. I, I did test ride a few bikes. Um, you know, I, they're, they're great bikes and everything, but I didn't have that solid feel. But yeah, uh, the reason I chose a, a, a cruiser was because, first of all, the handlebars almost did look a bit like, these are massive, What what is this? Uh, but when I first rode it, and when the wonderful Ian at Soleil Bikes here in Venice put this thing together, uh, and I rode it home, I was like, oh my God, what have I been missing all these years? Um, I suffered a pretty bad um, injury from a car crash about six years ago. And I felt that I wasn't being, uh, wouldn't be able to, you know, ride a bike and enjoy it as much as I had before the accident. And so a lot of the times, you know, when I was trying out bikes, it'd be constantly hunched over. I was using this arm too much, putting pressure on my injured shoulder. And when I cycled over to meet you guys here, um, it's seriously like I could have been reading a book with a cup of tea in one hand and just jauntily, happily cycling along. I was also saying something which made me laugh at the fact that there are so many tattooed bikes out there. You know, when you buy your car and it says, you know, bought from somewhere, somewhere, um, you're like, yeah, I don't want that advertised. Um, so I love the fact that this is just have a lovely, um, just a lovely little uh, uh, subtle design over here to show what brand it is. And this I can do whatever I want to it if I do. wonderful about your Facebook page, the, um, the 630 Peddlers Club, is that there are so many people of all ages. And I read uh, someone who was 73 had posted like, you know, am I too old to be getting on a bike at my age? And I, I sort of was so tempted to, actually I did actually respond and say, if you've got two legs attached to the hips with knees that work, then get on your bike and enjoy wherever you are. So uh, the path uh, my kids and I usually take on a weekend will be through 
through there and that will be rows on Venice. That will lead to Main Street on Venice and then we cut through and cut through and cut through all these beautiful little sort of uh, definitely seaside, um, you know, neighborhoods to where we live in Mar Vista. Um, but yeah, we took a roundabout way, but otherwise you can really just take Venice Boulevard all the way down. But um, the sights that you see along Venice is just uh, really, you can only do it on bike. Um, in and out of these wonderful little cul-de-sacs, all these beautiful craftsman homes, roads that end where you didn't think they would. And you're like, huh, okay, well, I don't mind going back a couple of miles because it's a beautiful ride, you know? And I think that um, right now I'm hoping that uh, with people um, maybe being open to new possibilities during these COVID times that they are taking a detour in life that they probably didn't think that they ever would. It's nothing is a straight path as we've learned in 2020. Um, so I've made the best of this detour and um, I'm going to be looking forward to going back to Santa Monica College once everything starts up again. I want to do a shout out to Mr. Freer and Mr. Keishan. Thank you for teaching me everything. Again, I want to take a proper shout out to uh, Ian at Soleil Bikes here in Venice, uh, who did an amazing job putting this together. It was shipped to store and um, I didn't have to see this beauty in pieces. There's something sad about that. <laughs> um, but I saw it all put together and I, I cycled home and my boys were like, oh my God, can we try? I said, just don't even finish that sentence. This is mummy's bike. You're not allowed to look at it. <laughs> it's just something will fall off if you look at it, just leave it alone. Um, so this is, this is my beauty. So I've decided either to call it Loomis after Loomis, our favorite foster dog, or I might call it after my late dad, um, Solly. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see what suits this bike once I take it out for more rides. And uh, that's all I can think of right now. Tattoo your bike if you want, but don't buy a bike that is tattooed for you. <laughs>